have to finish, bro. Don't overthink anything, bro. We're living in the moment. We put it too much in work, bro. Have fun with that. Let's go. Bring it up, baby. Let's go. Get up, baby. Get up. what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 we are back and this time it's with a quick video for you guys because i want to say this man this red zone offense is going and will continue to flourish right um something that we did not see too much of last year right um last year just to give you a quick background new england patriots had the seventh best red zone offense in the NFL with Josh McDaniels as their play caller. Now, as we all know, they didn't really have too many big name targets, right? They didn't have a Darren Waller. They didn't have a Hunter Renfro. Hell, they didn't even have a Josh Jacobs or a Kenyon Drake out of the backfield, right? So how could they have sit in 22 places higher than the Raiders in the red zone offense in terms of touchdowns and scoring percentage? As we know, the Las Vegas Raiders were 29th, 29th in the NFL in red zone uh, scoring, which is pretty damn bad. Only the Bears, the Lions, and the Giants were worse in red zone offense. So with that being said, the reason why I say it'll continue to flourish is because it's a trend that we're continuing to see out of training camp. Of course, these last few days, we have had the pads on. We are not letting off the gas. And I love this, right? Because coming out of camp, we've seen a lot of Devontae, sure. We've seen a lot of Hunter, sure. But that's not really what I'm taking in terms of an approach with this video. So what I want to talk about right now is in, in camp, we're seeing a lot of hitch routes on the goal line. We're seeing a lot of comeback routes near the goal line. We're seeing some running backs out the backfield in the red zone. This is all going to help a lot with the red zone offense. And if you don't remember, uh, a lot of you guys probably don't remember because we didn't watch much Patriots at all last year, right? But watching a lot of film, trying to study what this offense is going to look like, um, it's clear to see why guys like Mac Hollins are getting bigger roles right now. Mac Hollins is out here making a name for himself, getting one hand fade routes, um, in practices, fully padded. Today, he's doing that. Kenyon Drake out the backfield, catching passes for a touchdown. Today, he's doing that, right? We're seeing comebacks by our guys from Tyron Johnson, Demarcus Robinson, uh, Hunter Renfro, these guys that isn't the biggest name like Devontae Adams. But let me let me get back to this, right? And the reason why I love this is because getting downfield, yeah, play calling may not have to be the best because you can really just let your athletes be athletes and your playmakers be playmakers. But once you get down into the red zone where everything is so much more congested when the defense is barely having to move and they're covering so much more ground, um, the offense then gets a lot more difficult. You don't have 60, 70 yards of space to work with. You now have 20 yards or less. So in my opinion, it now becomes a lot of schematics. It becomes coaches trying to scheme guys open, plays that we can watch on film and exploit them um, against different teams. And that's exactly what a guy like Josh McDaniels does. He's been doing that for so long. Um, they've consistently had a top 10 red zone offense year after year after year. And it's not like, oh, without Tom Brady, they suck. No, they had a seventh, they had the seventh in the league. So that's still top 10 with a rookie quarterback with no good outside receivers. So very, very, very good to see our guys out there putting in a lot of work. Now we travel very, very soon. I believe we travel to Ken tomorrow. So we will see a lot of this get put to use. I hope that in this new preseason game, um, of course, we have four instead of three. I hope to see a lot of good red zone efficiency, a lot less field goals, a lot more touchdowns. And I think we will see that. For those of you guys who are new to this channel, I have high expectations for this team. Um, and I have the Las Vegas Raiders finishing the season with the number one scoring offense in the NFL. And a big part of that is going to be how well we do in the red zone. And I am very, very confident in what Josh McDaniels can do because of what he's implementing. It's not just routes. It's not just 
certain play callers. It's even the guys up front, right? Um, the big quote that he had a few days ago was, well, in turn, when he was asked about winning, he strictly said, well, to win, you have to learn how not to lose. Pretty, pretty, pretty well said. In my opinion, I love that quote right there by Josh McDaniels. If you're near the goal line, if you're in the red zone, we saw how many times false starts, holdings, and unnecessary flags it killed our drives. It killed momentum. So if we then learn how not to lose and how not to make those penalties, how not to hold, how not to go, but freaking false start, then it puts you in a much better position to win. I'm glad that he is stressing the little details. I'm glad that we're really, really stressing um, the, the red zone offense in practice. They're also doing a lot of good quick screens, which is going to let your guys like Renfro, these shifty guys, um, make plays. Even Devontae Adams can get a quick screen and make a man miss. We have lots of guys here um, to make guys miss in short space. So it'll be very, very exciting. We have Raiders football in less than three days, you guys. This is extremely, extremely fun times. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. I may be back with another video or a live today. So hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification button on so uh, you never miss a live or a video. But that's what I wanted to come on here and say, explain to you guys my thoughts and opinions, explain how I really like that we're stressing uh, receiver screens, running backs out the backfield, fades, goal line comebacks. This is all a big recipe for success, right? Comebacks on the goal line, helps big body receivers. We know we have the Mac Hollins. We know we have a Darren Waller. We know we have a Devontae Adams that if they do a curl, if they do a comeback, dude, it's going to be so easy for these guys to box out their defenders just because of how big they are compared to the other defensive players. <sighs> I'm going to quit rambling, you guys. This is very, very fun times for me. Um, and I'm just here to explain that to you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you guys think? We'll see from the Las Vegas Raiders in terms of red zone efficiency this year after a pretty lackluster performance in the red zone all of last season. But as always, you guys, I love you guys. Stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, I may be back. So like I said, hit that post notification button, subscribe, and I'm out, you guys. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star, where our opponent's dreams come to die.